Are you really clean, 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 yeah, clean? Yeah, I'm clean. Well, we need to wash this and take off the ends. Dinner is served. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon. <laughs> Today was my first day of class and I'm kind of jet lagged from Japan because I slept at 6 in the morning and then I woke up 30 minutes before class, but it's okay. I made it. Gemma is sleeping right now because she's also very, very jet lagged. She got back from Korea a few days ago. The semester is pretty busy. I got a Hobonichi planner from Japan. This planner, hopefully it'll last me the whole year because I need my life together. So far, it's been pretty helpful. I've been using it to doodle. Today for my history class, I wrote a lot of notes. So the Hobonichi goes from month to week to daily and I don't really use the daily much. I don't organize everything that hardcore so I'm just gonna use it to like doodle or take notes in. My weekly schedule is so packed. Tomorrow is my business day. I have class from 9 to 8 p.m. And then from Thursday to Sunday, I work at the tattoo studio. Monday, I have my class starts in the afternoon to 6 p.m. <gasps> Wait, I have class till 8 p.m. on Monday and on Tuesday, it's the same schedule as Monday. It's because I piled all my classes in so I could work at the studio. It is 7 a.m. in the morning. I got up at 5 to do some work. I don't know why I'm hungry. I ate a lot of food. I'm just gonna make a breakfast. That's not really a breakfast. Today is Thursday and I am late to the tattoo studio, so I'm gonna go now. Bye! I've decided that I'm just gonna be a morning person if I'm gonna wake up at 4 a.m. every day. Even though I took melatonin at like 10 30 to sleep and i thought i would wake up at like 9 10 woke up at 4 and i couldn't fall back asleep yesterday when i got out of the subway i almost stepped on the biggest fattest rat this is literally the third time i've almost stepped on a rat and i literally screamed there was like a low scream and i hopped to the other side and I like walked so fast down the street back home. Maybe being a morning person would make me more productive because I spent the past two hours, it's like six in the morning right now. I'm working on designs, which I will show you. I have design. Right now, I'm gonna work on my painting assignment for the next hour or so.
Oh my god. Did I just... <sighs> this is either gonna go bad or good. And then we let it dry and see what happens. Why? This is the situation right now. I'm just gonna. Oh! This is a bit harder than expected. Okay. Okay, that's not dry. That's not dry. Okay, we're gonna leave it out here to dry. Today is Chinese New Year's. Technically, yesterday if you count being in asia and i did some makeup to feel a bit festive i'm wearing red hopefully this will be a lucky year but um i have to go to studio now so I just got back from yoga and it is currently 9 in the morning So I'm gonna work on this until 11.30, 12ish And then I'm gonna cook myself lunch and then prep my dinner Because today I have class from 2 to 6.20 and then 6.30 to 7.50 I believe I cannot let myself be hungry because I'll be like an actual bitch This is my very early lunch. I got too hungry. My dinner, I prepped soba noodles and veggies, and I'm just gonna eat that in class.
This is my outfit for class today. I have on my thermal wear and then a sweatshirt, jacket, this jacket from Aritzia. Hopefully I will be warm. And I'm also wearing, as usual, wide leg jeans and these Converse's. Now I gotta get to class because I'm gonna be late. So I salvaged one command hook. I need the, the tacky shit to get on the wall in the first place and I can't find it. Look at what I found. Oh my God. Hi. I needed to hang it up so that I could drip paint down this, but I'm kind of worried about this area, but it should be fine. I'm gonna work on my reading while I wait for the paint to drip. Wait, I don't even know what I'm reading. <laughs> I just got out of yoga. I have some time before my afternoon class. I have a lot of time actually, so I'm gonna go to Alien because I haven't been there in a while and it's like an eight minute walk from here. Hot yoga is so tiring but so fun. I'm gonna try these three pieces. Mm, color is cute but I don't like how the sleeves pile up like that. It's a little bit big and also kind of kind of filmsy honestly. No. Yeah, that's a no. I look like a little baby doll. I didn't end up buying anything except for these face masks and these are going to the fridge. I am so hungry, I'm gonna eat yesterday's leftovers for lunch.
vlogging again. We're having spring rolls, healthy, healthy. You cannot, no more carbs, no, no sauce. We're just having vegetables. What is that? Vegetables and good protein. <laughs> So this morning, I went to yoga today and then I got back and I dropped off this painting in my studio and now I'm gonna rush back to eat breakfast and then come back again! This is the semester's studio. The past few days, I was so busy. On Monday, I went to my intaglio class. I think I mentioned in my finals vlog that I was taking intaglio, which is a form of printmaking for second semester. So I go in, the professor says, this is the most outside studio time, time consuming class. And when I heard that, I was just like, I don't have time for that because I also want to spend more time on painting this semester. While I was sitting there, as she was talking about materials, I was just like, fuck, what do I do? Let me backtrack for a moment. So last semester, I took Relief 1, which is also a form of printmaking. You guys saw me carving into like wood and lino. I want to take Relief 2 second semester because I really loved the class and I also really liked the professor, but my registration time was really bad because it was super late on the last day and his class was filled up. So then I chose Intaglio to fill up my printmaking credits. So while I was panicking over what I should do about this class, I went on to the course list to see what other choices I had for printmaking and then his class was open! I think it was fate. So the past week you guys saw me work on this one painting and I never really explained what it was. Basically the assignment was to paint dream and I wanted the audience to feel like they were in the dream which is why I chose such bright pastel fluffy colors and also i've been really into those colors lately i had so much fun doing it the professor really liked it and the other kids in my class really liked it too that piece was inspired by a piece that i worked on from one of my painting finals if you guys remember the material to create the bubbly shit it was liquid foam because in freshman year I used it for a project and I really liked it. I bought it back and I think I want to experiment with it a lot more this semester. This semester for painting, I want to try to experiment more, do more abstract paintings. That's what I did for this week. I already have a lot of stuff to do for next week. Wait, I'm going to show you guys my planner. You guys saw me working on it in the beginning of the vlog, but now this is what it looks like. I filled it up completely. Still need to add some more stuff for the rest of the week. But I'm gonna end the vlog here and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!